Hello guys! So I think I finally found a nice little spot tucked into the pines. There's some hardwoods over there, so that'll be good for firewood, but but this is nice and covered. I'm just gonna cook up a quick lunch and I don't know, play in the woods a little bit. So I hope you enjoy and uh, see how she goes. I got something special I brought out too for lunch. Not for lunch, with lunch. Lost crafts, just a lager. Sometimes I go for IPAs, but I was feeling lager today, so that'll be delicious. Oh, come on. Sit back. It wasn't cold at all when I brought it out. So. Hopefully, I don't forget it there. <laughs> Alright, so I'll show you what I brought. Got my little kettle all wrapped up. A cup. Those cups are handy. I brought my little cook set. And I have a little cheap uh, $20 twig stove in here that I wanted to show you too. I haven't decided if I'm going to make a fire pit or if I'm just going to use my twig stove. But uh, we'll see. And I got a small pot. Water. And for lunch, I just got an easy little pack of, of rice. So I'll go good with my beer. And it's pretty well lit. Other than that, I got little tools. I got a little cheap little saw. I got my knife, bushcraft black, never fails, I have a spork, and I got my fire steel, so this fire steel is, I just got the, the, the fire steel itself, and then I made the handle. And I just threw some rope on there so I don't lose it. I always put it on my belt, so I'll do that right now. A little overexposed there. So I just have a little loop. Put that in there. Uh-oh. Is it going to fit? Bingo, there we go. Let's put that, tuck that away in there. Ready for my fire. So since I'm going to be using my sit pad, and I don't want my backpack just to hang out on the ground, so I'm going to string it up. I think I will just use the twig stove. It's 
since I'm not here for very long. I'm gonna go get some twigs now and I'll take you with me. So here's my little cookette. Just crappy tire. This is my little twig stove. Twenty bucks on Amazon. Kind of like Bush Buddy style. So it comes like that. Here's the brand. Here's the top. Pop it in like that. The ash catcher in there. I don't know if it's the cold, but I'm always not very good at this. There we go. Pop the lid on like that. You're good to go. I'm just organizing my twigs now. Smallest first, and breaking down some of the medium sized. Now, let's go find some bridge brick. Start our fire. If we can't, we'll make some shavings. But uh, I hope I can find some birch bark instead. <laughs> I saw some on the way in, so I know there's some around here. This ribbony stuff is. Perfect. It's easy to light, doesn't hurt the tree. What do you think? Do I have enough? Only thing I kind of don't like about winter time is that people can follow your tracks wherever you go. Small twigs. Medium twigs. Oh yeah, all that birch bark. It stays dry. My fire steel. Got my knife. Hey, time to get a fire going. Take some of this out. My second time lighting a fire in this, so excuse me if it's not very smooth. Oh, it's so nice to warm up your hands. So nice. Put that stuff in there. Not bad for a cheap wood stove, or twig stove. Pop that 
that on there. Oh, all right. All right. Oh yeah, we got a boil. Nice. Well, that's gonna be good. All right, I'm ready to eat, and I'm starving. All right, I'm gonna sit here and enjoy my meal. Mmm. Nice and warm. I'm happy now. Mm. Alright, that's enough. So I did a dumb. I realized I forgot all about my beer. So here we go. Oh, so good. Mm. It's nice and cold, too. My little snow technique worked. Almost forgot it, but I didn't. So that's good. <sighs> Keep eating. Alright, I'm going to finish up lunch and then I'll get back with you. So I'm just making up some curls. There's a... A little bit of coal left, so I'm gonna try and start it back up and maybe, maybe make a coffee. Cowboy coffee. I'm not very good at this yet, but uh, practice makes perfect. Oh. <laughs> All right. Try that. There we go. Oh crap, twigs. I gotta get twigs. Okay, it's all good. I got some just in time. Let's make some coffee. Okay, so I think the reason this is struggling so much is because it's kind of dug into the snow there, so it can't really get much, much uh, oxygen. So I'm gonna try and prop it up on these, and uh, we'll see how that works. Oh, this is sketchy. Oh, really sketchy. It's already working better there.
Don't try this at home. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, well, now we got her. There we go. That's better. This is my little kettle. And I got some coffee and I make some cowboy coffee. So basically, you boil up the water, let it cool a little bit, and then uh, you dump them right inside, stir it around, put the lid on, let it steep, and then once it steeps, the grinds will go to the bottom. And you can even pour some cold water in at the top to help the to help the grinds settle. And then uh, then you're good to go. So. Not exactly good to the last drop, I would say, but still a really, really good way of making coffee. Have a boil. So now you can take this, set it over to the side, let it cool off a bit, and maybe warm up by the leftover flame. Yeah. Okay, so. Still hot. So now you take your coffee. Dump it all up in there. So once it's in there, I usually let it sit for 30 seconds or so. Let's get you closer. That's good. Then just give it a stir. Just give it a little stir. Just like that. Throw the lid back on. And let it sit for a bit. Nice little mug. So, coffee should be ready. Got my little mug. Grounds are pretty well settled, I think. All right. I'm gonna finish my coffee and then 
clean up this camp, maybe make it look like somewhat like it wasn't here. And then pack up and head out, pick up the little one. So I wanted to show you that right there is why you always want to look above your head when you make camp. Because that wouldn't be very nice falling on your head. nests in there. Oh, maybe it goes like that. There we go. Just like that. Struggle's real, guys. I struggle with things. And I just dropped that in the snow. That goes in there. That goes in like that. Voila, nice little twig stove. Twig stove. Twig stove. Goes in this nice little bag. And that fits in my pot like a glove. I'll wash my pot when I get home. I'll wash the kettle when I get home. Why didn't I put this in first? <laughs> oh, hair's in the way. All the time. Okay, guys. Guess that just about does it today I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please subscribe please shoot me a like and uh, feel free to comment all that fun stuff um, I guess I'll see you on the next one thanks for joining me have a good one